So how about Swamp Story? He's getting exposed. Whoa, for I gotta school? see the video. So basically, <coughs> Adam be having all the info, man. There's a YouTuber, and I don't know 100 percent if this is true. So if this is not true, then by, by no means am I saying 100 percent that it is true. But there's a rapper. Uh, or, or so okay. Anyone who knows anything knows that Swamp Stories is a very very popular uh, YouTube channel. That Welcome basically back to Swamp <laughs> Stories. <laughs> tells hood stories, right? Uh, uh, about all kinds of you know street shit about this gang beef with this gang, and forty years ago some guy got killed over a starter jacket, yeah. and then meanwhile, uh, can and, we, which brings us to today. Welcome to Crip Mac. It's like you know can he, we, he, can he, we, he threads all these things together and has a pretty big YouTube. Yeah, well, they, can we be can we be completely honest though before we move on? I, I like Swamp. Stories. I love his videos. I watch them all the time. Me too. But sometimes the cohesiveness is kind of that's what I'm saying. Hard to uh that's but, my biggest criticism. But now yeah. there's like baby swamp stories now. Oh, yeah. oh 1000 percent but, but you ever seen the war uh, war in Cali? I actually watch those. I yeah, think yeah. his biggest innovation in terms of hood you know storytelling Good media is basically like making it so that the stories don't really have to make that much sense where you can just take all <laughs> yeah. these totally isolated incidents yeah. and then just tell those stories thread a little bit in between it of being like well then 20 years later in the same neighborhood this happened and it works you know it you got to you got to give it to him you know what you know what Blasi made me realize that he uses that <laughs> Blasi has that effect on a lot of people. <laughs> no, he made me realize that the nigga uses random, uh, random stock images for like shit. Like in the middle, like mm. they'll be like, yeah, be like one, so. Like one time he used clickbait though, because it was like a, um, I forgot what it was about. Some people in the it's New probably York. not one time, probably a lot. No, of but he had China Mac in the fucking in the um, <laughs> yeah in the thumbnail, and, you, and that's what made me click on it. That's <laughs> how I felt when he used Crip Mac in the thumbnail. It's like Crip Mac was super popping at the moment, and he tells all these stories about Fifty Fifth Street. And then at the end, he talks about Crip Mac for like, like 30 90 seconds. seconds. But yeah, this one, China it. Mac wasn't in the video at all. At all. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm saying. They talked about, he talked about you one time. Oh, yeah. He, a gang yeah. of times. A gang of times? He actually just hit me up today. That's fire. Anyway, yeah. let's get into our uh, oh, yeah, story yeah. about him. Is that basically, apparently on his Instagram account, a, a, a post was posted and then quickly deleted. And this post was a flyer for an underground rap show. Mm. And this person who made the video, and the video is called Omer, the channel is called Omerta TV, and then it's called I heard them before. It's called Swamps. They only have 1.7k subscribers, so that means you're very, very tapped in. But this video is called Swamp Stories Exposed: Double Life as a Rapper, and it turns out that the rapper is a rapper that they're saying that he is is a rapper who I have actually uh, observed. I at least checked him out at one time in the past. His name is Cemetery. Do you and know that's about what them? Swamp's stories is? This is what's being alleged. Cemetery is an underground rapper. I would compare him honestly to Suicide Boys and Bones. What? White kid, or maybe Mexican, I don't know, but like light, light skinned kid. Yeah. For sure. And the 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 his name is S-E-M-A-T-A-R-Y-Y. -Y. And it's, I guess, that without the double Y. I think I know. his main rap name. And I, I found out about him because I saw he had a mass gorilla interview. And so I thought to myself, who the fuck is this kid? I watched like five minutes of the interview and then I just clicked over, watched a music video or two of him. I think I remember this. Was like, whatever. And then kept my life moving. So he's not Filipino. I don't know. But they're saying that this dude is Swamp Stories, which if true, and they played a clip of him talking in which I guess his voice kind of did sound like the Swamp Stories guy. That's a very distinctive voice, And bro. because if you really think about it, if you were making videos like what Swamp Stories does, you'd want to do a fake version of your voice. You'd want to exaggerate mm. it so that people that you know in your day-to-day -day life wouldn't so be able to necessarily... the clip. Exactly. Like, it feels like that's kind of like an exaggerated voice. But if this is true and you're actually like an underground fucking whatever, like dark rapper mm -hmm, yeah and then by day you're earning a living reporting on the hood i mean this is the funny kind of crazy this is the funniest fucking narrative i've ever heard in my entire life now i don't know if it's true it's like but batman. i love it it's like batman it is like batman yeah it's like except that instead of a rich billionaire it's like <laughs> soundcloud rapper <laughs> no but that's that would be so insane because it's just, it would just be two completely different worlds that really don't overlap right at all and it's like if you like, I feel like if this is true, it's going to get proven somehow. Now, the question is if you're a cemetery and you want to continue to be this sort of like underground rapper or whatever, is your safety now in danger? Are you going to have to move around in a very, very different way? Yep. If people know that you are swamp stories? Yep. 
do you, do we really like is are people really after him because no I don't think people are after him but when you speak on things that are actively going on yeah mm. people will but take it's all but you got to think about it how is he getting this information no it's out there but it's I think he, he's there. saying a lot of things that people don't appreciate being said because there's a lot of stuff that we could like we talk about fucking gang politics and shit all the time on here but we just we talk about things that are clearly in the public domain mm. I think people get pissed off about swamp stories because like a, rumors he'll be talking about some dude that fucking got killed in the 90s that you know 40 people on earth remember who this dude mm -hmm. is but all of a sudden he's telling this fucking story that is like bringing it up so that the family's probably seeing it his friends are seeing it mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes he doesn't get the details all completely right so all of a sudden the guy who was actually there is pissed off i mean to me bare minimum this guy should have a shooter with him at all times probably after this sometimes he clown cities too Oh yeah, and that's oh, the God. funniest part is that he be he be cutting out be like San, San, San Diego. He be oh, on San Diego. San guys. Diego's murder rate ain't shit. Like they're like talking about like they're so pussy. That shit right there. Oh man. Yeah. Mitchy Sl Slick is coming to the SoundCloud yeah, show. No fact. He's pressing your line, cemetery. Now get out. <laughs> I don't know if this is true. That would just be so random if it like. This is making I me think, check my DMs right now to see if he's responding to me in real time. I think I think that they're just trying to just find no response yet. They're just trying to find uh, who he is, bro. They don't, like, like. What if it is this dude? We're gonna keep getting theories, like, of who it could be. For, keep making like, his, keep making your videos. I like them. Yeah, but I, I, now his life is way different because you are mixed up in the politics way more than the average person. You Jordan. know what I thought about too, like, gang banging clout is at like an all time high right now. Oh, it's crazy. Where like. It's probably niggas hitting him up like, yo, do a video about my hood. For sure. Which is shit that you would never have heard, like, what, like five years ago? For sure. You kill someone. You feel like you're not getting enough credit for it. So you hit up Swamp Stories. You're like, yo, I got a, I got a stack for you. Make a video that is alleging that I killed this dude. I, now, I'm hoping that the cops don't watch this video and think that you have a point. But could you please, because I want the streets to think that I caught this body. People on YouTube are doing a better job finding shit out then the police that's what mo the lawyer told us he, he flacco cheered he was so happy when he when he told him flacco that that youtubers help the cops solve murders <laughs> flacco cheered <laughs> he cheered yeah, he's nah, like yeah <laughs> he's like we got to get these dusty negro mites off the off the streets that wasn't the exact thing he I, said. I it, see, was, it was roughly that I, yeah. i'm seeing time and time now that flacco was starting to uh, get soft on uh street soft shit on crime no, like he's starting to like. I like certain like, people. I see it to now. Understand. He's right. starting to understand a lot more though. That that it's okay for some people to kill people. No, not even not even just to kill. <laughs> not him, even but as long that, as their yeah. music's good, or I they're kind of cool. I think before he came to California, he just thought everybody that did crimes was just like these yeah. savages. They didn't have no personality. A lot of people, they a lot of good people, people are, are really born into the circumstances. Yeah. And bro. he's meeting people now. And he's like, oh, he's a cool guy. I don't believe that he's with this. I think oh, he's a cool guy. I don't believe this. And I see it now. Like, think about it. Flacco's from Liberia. And then he moves to North Dakota, the pussiest place on earth. He tries to like. He, he's, now you north, sound like yeah, North yeah. He wants, yeah, the North Dakota so, no, goons are going to come find you. He wants, he wants to reconnect with some kind of like sense of danger. He left that behind when he left Liberia, which again is the home of General Butt Naked. He's probably more, way more dangerous than uh, yeah, exactly. We've but then seen. what does he do? He gravitates towards making content about the most violent people that he could possibly find. Although to be fair, he did Adam. No gang members. But then before <laughs> that. He was doing videos about Dr. Umar, and apparently that wasn't really like bringing in the numbers that he wanted. And then he called and <laughs> told him his lights are on. <laughs> <Let me> off. <laughs> he called Dr. Umar and said that. No, he called like his fucking light company and told him that the lights were, were not on in the establishment. Some crazy shit. Wow, it was funny. We're we're dangerously close to turning this into a Flacco pod right now. Anyway, the, I'm 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 glad that we got that on the open about Swamp Stories, and I'm looking forward to his response because that could be one of the biggest things we've heard of in a long time. You never, you would never expect the SoundCloud, you know, Realm grimy to... rapper world that we're talking about here to overlap with like the gangster world. So this I would be like, like the perfect collision. I feel like AD ha is, is so blind to that whole scene. Yeah, he has era. no idea what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> have you heard of the Suicide Boys? Oh um, yeah, I heard of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have you heard like one song? Um, no. If, if if you had to pick them out of the lineup, you think you could? The Shitty Boys. That's different. That's totally Two different, different. boys. <laughs> All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.